I'm Chen Chen live from Zhoushan, China's eastern Zhejiang province. Today, I'm bringing to you one of the highest power tower in this world. And the power tower is standing right beside me. Also standing beside me is Mr. Liu Huating, an uh, engineer from the state grade Zhejiang Electronic Power Company. So good morning, Huating. Good morning, Mr. Chen. Uh, so, well, here we are, right? Yes. Uh, what is this? What is this giant stuff? Yes, as we can see, this is our tallest electric tower. And this project is called Zhoushan 500 kilowattage network connection project. And every time I see this tower, I feel shocked. I feel shocked and, and amazing. Because I think it's much more than a tower, but it's a great construction with our wisdom and hard working. Well, 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 with wisdom and hard work. So what is it for? So what is the objective of building a tower like this? Yes, you can see these towers, there are lines between the towers. Mm -hmm. And the length of line is about 39 kilometers. And the lines between Zhoushan city and Ningbo city. So it guarantees the development of Zhoushan and Ningbo and to provide ele electric and to provide the needs from Zhoushan to Ningbo. And uh, as we can see, the 14 is sea crossing towers mm. because it's crossing the sea. So, so 41 in Zhejiang province alone or 41 across China? Uh, 14 is cross the sea and the and other... 71. 70 in, in Zhejiang or 70? 71 okay. in Zhoushan. 71 towers like yes. this, but not as tall as this one. Yes, yes, because 380 meters towers are just these two. Okay, so w we talk about this height. It, I, I've learned that it's uh, 380 meters tall, yes. almost a four times the height of London's Big Ben, and even taller than Paris Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. Why did you build it that tall? Why is it that tall? Yes, it's no doubt. The tower is absolutely 380 meters. Cool. So why, why we build this, this, this tall? Because, because you can see this channel. The Zhou, Zhoushan is the biggest city to produce and process seafood. And there are lots of ships through this channel. If, if we don't build this high, the lines between the towers will drop down and touch the touch the ships. So it's it will be very, very dangerous. We know that Zhoushan is home to many many biggest manufacturing companies around mm -hmm. the globe. Like we know Boeing is here in, in the Zhoushan Island. It is also a tourism place with Mount Puto yes. attracting lots of uh, tourists home and abroad and it also has many urban areas I mean people are living actually in those right. islands so making it clean is one of the objective and main goal of building this tower am I correct on, yes. uh, on that and That's why right. it is clean or why the use of electricity itself is clean you just said the, the point because the normal way we transfer the electrics is by is by using the coal mm -hmm. but this way it has lots of disadvantages mm -hmm. such as it has lots of loss through mm -hmm. transferring the electric and it's bad for our environment mm -hmm. but by building these towers we transfer the electric from the other place such as Ningxia mm -hmm. or Shanxi province uh, and we transfer electric from this place to here uh -huh. and through these lines just by these lines it is almost no loss uh -huh. and no damage to our environment you told me last night that there are so many 
made in China elements, yes, right. designed in China elements, and also uh, innovated by China elements, yes. what are they? As we all know, it's the tallest electric tower, and it's also the heaviest tower in the world. Mm -hmm. It's almost 7,280 tons. We, we are the first time to use helicopters to build the towers to string the cable. Because we all know that there are many islands and mountains in Zhoushan, mm. and the weather is very bad, so it's difficult to build the tower by the normal way. I have made lots of foreign friends, and when they first come to here, and they are just like me come here first time, they are shocked. And Why they are shocked? Because in, in their country, their, their normal towers are just 60 or 70 meters. Mm -hmm. And they have never seen this tall. Mm -hmm. And they think, they are not just think the tower is amazing, but, it, but they think our workers is amazing. Mm -hmm. You said the foreigners are also amazed by the Chinese workers. Yes. You are an engineering student, and now you are an engineer. Have you climbed that tower? Uh, sure. Oh, how, how many times? Uh, maybe four or five times. The most part impressed me is when I first time come, come to the top mm -hmm. because I never come to that high. Uh -huh. And there are very, very strong wind. Uh -huh. maybe, maybe the wind can blow me out uh -huh. if, we, if, we, if I don't sit my seat belt mm -hmm. and but, but you you did have your seat belt yes, I have mm -hmm. because when we because when before we climb the mountain we must do the security mm -hmm. it's about our work about our life did you fear mm, everyone fears but it's our job it's our duty so we must do this job then and and when we when we get this job done, we feel very proud because we guarantee the local people's safety, electric safety, and and we and we provide the needs for the development. So we are very proud. Thank you, thank you for your dedication. And and also, one last question: uh, When did it complete, and when will it be in use? And next week, next week it will get into use, and it may, it must make people, the local people, make they feel more comfortable their life, and and we they can enjoy the electric more easier, better and cleaner, and through this this year's effort, all the workers are very proud because we make a very big contribution sure. to to the local people to our country to China. Sure, sure, sure you did. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Watin. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm Chen Chen now live in Zhoushan, China's eastern Zhejiang province. So our next guest, uh, Mr. Xu Xiaoming. Good morning, Mr. Xu Xiaoming. Good morning, Mr. Xu Xiaoming. Uh, well, I, I will I will ask uh, Mr. Xu the question in in Chinese, and I will translate translate it back to English while I'm talking to the camera. So, uh, and I heard that Mr. Xu has also built a very similar tower in Brazil. So, uh, let's take a look. 所以说,徐老师,我想问一下,平时您在作业的时候,身上带的设备都有哪些? I just asked Mr. Xu, what facilities does he bring up to the tower? 那个船方位的护腰带,腰绳,安全绳,就是我们所称的生命绳,高空作业必须要配在这个安全绳作业。so Mr. Xu said that uh, he must have the safe belt with him whenever he climbs up to the tower. And they, uh, I mean the engineers here, also called the safe belt 
the life belt. 还有哪些 ？What else? 所以我们除了船方位护腰带以外，个人的安全用具以外呢，还有个人的那个工具，小工具，扳手啊，那个老虎钳，还有装尖钢棒的专用工具这些东西。And、uh, among other kits like、uh, the hammer or any other things, uh, 徐老师，您的工作内容是什么 ？What's your job in the construction of this tower? 我主要负责这个三百八十米高塔啊，是从立塔开始到架线，所有的负责指挥啊、协调工作。然后下面的高空作业呢，现在现在是在那个削缺进行削缺工作。呃，现在嘛，辅件安装啊，其他设备，各个设备的安装，就这些。呃 ，Mr. Xu said he is in charge of all the process from the base to the top of the tower, and now the priority lies in the check of the cable. 呃，您刚才刚才说的削削是指？削削，因为我们就是验收出来不是做好以后，它有有部分有的质量不是很好。验收出来还有问题，所以要进行把这个所有的缺陷给它消除掉，就是把有问题的地方给它处理好。所以说，用更通俗的话来讲，就是检查电缆的这个是否有损坏，这是否有就是电线上面有没有损坏啊？这些东西，各个电器就是我们带电这个设备上面有没有东西少的或者缺的，或者有没有磨损啊？这个东西我们要进行后期的进行处理，就是。Ask Mr. Xu、uh, to ask him to specifically talk about the check of the grid, and he said this is a very last step in making sure the cable will be in full use, and、uh, they have their workers on the line to check every spot of the cable. This is definitely the most difficult task. This one. 这个工作肯定是非常的辛苦，像我们今天大雨，雨雾在上面，像我们现在地上面没雨，上面高空上三百八十米是，因为那个雾水的话把我们施工作业人员打湿掉了、就是，所以很艰辛，还要跑线，线出去要走将近两千多米出去，高差从最高点到湖水点有两百二十米的高差，这个爬坡就有二十度。有人要这样徒手爬上来，所以非常的辛苦。I I say that the check of the grid must be one of the most difficult task in the whole process of the construction of the tower. Mr. Xu nodded yes and said,、uh, some workers even have to climb a slope of almost twenty. Degrees, and it is really hard working thing. Uh, Xu 老师，还有一个非常重要的问题。I ask you another important question. 这座塔和您之前经历建设的，就像我刚才之前提过的，您在巴西也参与建造过，可能是类似的这种电塔。这座塔有什么不一样 ？I just ask Mr. Xu that、uh, he has worked in Brazil and the build.、Uh, A similarly similar tower. So, what is the difference of this tower from that one? This tower is similar to the tower in the Amazon in the North Atlantic. The North Atlantic is the first tower. It cannot be said that it is a high tower. How high? That is 296 feet. A little bit. Yes. Now it is 380 feet. Now this tower is the world's first tower. Its weight and its weight. 还有就是重量、高度，包括我们的后期用的那个设备，全部是世界第一的。这个有几个世界第一的这个世界之最嘛？就是。呃、uh, ，Mr. Xu said、uh, one of the biggest difference is that there is a cement in those poles, and、uh, in construction of this tower, there are more advanced facilities and equipment, and so the the tower all. Anything used in this tower is even more superior. So, uh, uh, 徐老师，我最后再问您一个问题：现在这个塔即将竣工，您现在站在塔下和我一起仰望这个塔，您的感觉是什么样的？感觉也很自己，感觉很很自豪。
这些把这个世界第一书店高塔建设完成，是其中的建设者之一，建设者跟指挥者之一。那么从自豪呢，本自己感觉很自豪呢。I ask, I ask Mr. Xu that looking up from the down as a constructor, as a man who led the team to build this tower, how, what's your feeling at this moment? And Mr. Xu said to me, nothing, but he's so proud of being part of the construction team and who has led the team in its construction of this tower and he said he's very proud and looking forward to it into use next week. 好，感谢徐老师，谢谢徐老师。I said, and I just heard from our director that there are two girls who would come off the work. Let's just ask a some questions on their feelings of working that time. So you are just off work, right? Yes. Uh, so uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Gao Fei. Uh, yours? Uh, my name is Zhou Yi. Uh, well, I, I would uh, like to start with uh, Gao Fei. Uh, so would you make a self-introduction? Uh, my name is Gao Fei. I'm 26 years old. Uh, we are from Zhejiang Electric uh, Transmission and uh, Transformation Engineering Corporation. Uh, my name is Zhou Yi. Uh, I'm 24 years old. We are from the same company. Okay, you are from the same company. Uh, so, what's the feeling of uh, being in the sky? Um, as you can see, the tower is uh, 380 meters, uh, like 125 floors high. The wind on the top of the tower is very strong. Uh -huh. um, just uh, standing on the tower for normal people is very difficult. Uh, um, but is it difficult for you? Um, but uh, we must do our work uh, on the tower. Uh, it is our job. It is also our duty. Uh, so I feel very proud because we have shown it to everyone that our girls can do it very well. How do you feel, Zhou Yi? Uh, as she said, the tower is very high and uh, the weather up there is very cold. Um, but it's our duty to guarantee electric security. So, so, so it's not dangerous, is it? it, it it's not dangerous. I, I see. I see. You all wear your 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 safe belt. Um, of course, it is dangerous. Um, but as you can see, it is our professional safety belt. So what, what is that? It's a it's a rope, I, I guess. Uh, yes, it uh, guarantees our safety when we walk on the tower. Uh, uh, and do you have the pretty the same? Yeah facilities with you. What, what is your first time when you climb that high? Have you feared anything or, or what, what's, what do you think at that moment? Uh, of course, I'm very fear. Uh -huh. uh, I have never imagined that I would do this job before. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, a sense of responsibility makes me overcome my fairness. Uh -huh. uh, it's our job. For me, the first experience uh, is also very feared. You have to keep the, I guess, the balance while walking, right? Have you, like, have the training or have you trained on the ground before you went up that high? Yes, we have trained before. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> well, that's, that's just the pretty quite something. Thank you. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you and very good luck to you all. With the commitment and hard work of so many young, brave men and women, just like Liu Huating, just like Gao Fei, just like Zhou Yi, now we have a pair of the tallest 
power tower in this world. I'm Chen Chen, live in Zhoushan, Zhejiang province. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.